Canada has its first case of the Brazil variant, and it's in Toronto. The person who tested positive is in hospital and did travel to the South American country. These variants are worrisome as more provinces start easing restrictions. As Heather Yerkes West reports, it's these risks that are making some Albertans worry about reopening too soon. It is a heartbreaking reminder of how dangerous COVID-19 can be. Among the more than 160 cases now linked to this Olamel meatpacking plant in Red Deer, Alberta, the union representing workers says one young employee has died. We are conducting an investigation. We know that he was an Olamel worker. We know that he was about 30 years of age. We know that he had uh, COVID-19. The company says it's investigating the death, but outbreaks at this plant and Cargill's in High River highlight the fact that COVID-19 is still a real threat in Alberta, even as overall numbers continue to fall. With around 450 people in hospital, down from nearly 1,000 in late December, Alberta will move into its first phase of reopening Monday. It includes in-person dining at restaurants and one-on-one -on -one fitness activities. Kids' sports were added this weekend, catching many in the community off guard. We learned the news on a Saturday morning at 9 a.m. through Twitter, <laughs> and it came as a surprise to all of us. In fact, many of us thought we missed something. In a tweet, Dr. Dina Hinshaw said starting February 8th, children and youth will also be allowed to participate in lessons, practices and conditioning activities for indoor and outdoor team-based minor sports and athletics. All games continue to be prohibited. There's the potential for spread amongst uh, different cohorts if games occur, whereas uh, practice sessions don't, are, are confined pretty much to the same group. And so consequently, that's a, another cautious way to proceed. Dr. Chris Modi believes Alberta's first phase of reopening can be done safely without causing COVID cases to rapidly rise. But unknowns like new variants of the virus have some business owners feeling unsure. The virus is still a scary thing, you know, and the safety of our staff is still of, of utmost importance. I fear that we would lose out on the reopening strategy uh, with, with, with business, and you always fear that may, people may forget about you at some point. So anyways, uh, uh, it's, it's uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Alberta's next phase of reopening would include banquet halls and conference centres and could happen in as little as three weeks. Heather Urex-West, Global News, Calgary.